This video hopefully is gonna be really quick. It's for beef broccoli. I'm gonna stop talking and show you guys just how simple this is. Super quick. I gotta go take the kids to the park because it's a nice day. And so I'm gonna use about a half a tablespoon of um, baking, or yeah, about a half, half a tablespoon of baking um, soda and about a table a full tablespoon of cornstarch I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a quarter of to toasted sesame seed oil and about two, about one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. And that's gonna be going onto the meat to marinate. Gonna cut it up later after it's done marinating. Oh, I probably should have stirred that first, but like I said, I'm kind of in a rush. I just wanna make sure that this marinade gets on all the sides of the meat. And this is a thin cut meat. Honestly, I think the carne picada would probably work better, but this is what I have right now. And it looks like this is cut with the grain and usually has a better texture when it's cut against the grain, but you don't have to be that picky. So there's the marinade for now, and then when I come back, I will finish the rest of the meal. Right, I wanted to show you guys real quick that I saved my rice water for my plants. Also, here's a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share with your friends, and give it a thumbs up. Hey, dude. Hi. What you doing? Good. <laughs> this is just one head of broccoli. I'm going to, I'm boiling water. Now that this water is boiling, I'm gonna put my broccoli in here. So I'm gonna put this in here and it's just gonna be like really fast. And then I'm gonna take them out and I have another pot of water off to the side that I could just put it in right away to stop the cooking. Now that this is done, it's not like all the way cooked through, but it's just basically bright green. I'm gonna put this into my water. I don't have uh, ice in here. I figure this is cold enough, but I just wanna kind of stop the cooking. Okay, now for the sauce. It's gonna be oyster sauce, and I use this Lee Kum Ki. Lee Kum Ki. I actually found it at a bit in a big jar at my local restaurant supply, so I'm gonna be um, pretty well stocked up. But you're just gonna use this is what the flavor is mostly this stuff so i'm gonna get this out i'd say that's about half a cup more or less and we're going to be putting cornstarch about a tablespoon and that will help to get a nice consistency on there and also a little bit of water because this is gonna thin it out so it'll be able to coat it but once it boils it will turn into a nice um, it'll turn in thicker because it has the cornstarch in there so I'm just gonna whisk this up and I'm gonna start heating up my pan at the stove I wanted to show you real quick this is about five or six dollars depending on where I can find it in my area and I found this at a local restaurant supply for on sale for $3.99 I still have a couple of bottles of this because I'm I always stay stocked up I've got to go through those bottles before I open this but uh, check around your local uh, restaurant supplies because sometimes they have like insanely good deals also if you don't think that you'll use 
this four pounds of oyster sauce. Try it in your fried rice. It's the ingredient that you never knew you were missing. It also um, tastes really good in like a local style island beef stew. You could just put anything in there and then add this for your flavor of the stew. Um, I will leave links and I will try to get videos up of how to use more of this stuff. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. And my pan is already hot. So you want to try to get as much meat touching the hot surface area as possible and let it kind of sear on there before you flip it and move it around. Subscribe! Okay, then after a little bit, you want it to get seared, hopefully on one side, but you don't want it to cook all the way through because you don't want it to be too tough. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. and try to brown and crisp the other side as much as possible. I forgot to add some garlic in here. And here goes the broccoli. And the sauce.